going on with an objective of sensitizing people on excessive usage of smartphones. Smartphone maker Vivo, in association with Cyber Media Research, has unveiled the findings of the fifth edition of Vivo's Switch Off Research. The study titled Impact of Smartphones on Parent-Child Relationship focuses on how excessive and mindless use of smartphones is hampering bonds between parents and children. The brand is also commemorating 20th December as Switch Off Day. Through this, Vivo is urging Indian consumers to join the movement Men, turn off their digital screens and spend quality time with their family and loved ones. To sensitize more people towards meaningful usage of technology, Vivo has also roped in Catherine Price, a renowned health and science writer, author of the book How to Break Up with Your Phone and founder of Screen Life Balance, a resource hub that helps people jumpstart a healthier relationship with their smartphone. Today we are joined in by Catherine Price and Geeta Chanana, head of Cop Corporate strategy, Vivo India, to find out more. Catherine, the report also states that, you know, in our country, in India, the smartphone usage has gone up over the last five years. And in these five years, we also like went through like a global pandemic, you know, the way in which we worked or we studied or we took education completely changed over the past uh, five years. So has, uh, you know, the pandemic and this whole work from home and hybrid working models also contributed to this spike in smartphone usage? I think that the pandemic definitely contributed to the spike in smartphone usage. It certainly happened in the United States, and it sounds like it did in India as well, which makes sense if you think about it, because we were put into a position where we couldn't be in person with people and be safe. So we had to use our smartphones for all of these other functions. And if you think about it, that's absolutely amazing. I don't think there's many people who would have wanted to have gone through the pandemic without their smartphone. But now that we are getting to the other side of the pandemic, I think it's important for us to think about when we want to spend time with people in person and recreate or perhaps create for the first time the boundaries that are necessary to preserve those in in person relationships with the people who matter the most yeah and uh, over to you Geeta. you're the ones who are coming up with new devices every uh, few months every few weeks so uh being a smartphone maker uh, tell us about your responsibility in you know responsible usage of smartphones beyond just uh, you know, discussing and raising awareness about it. What are you doing as a smartphone maker? So I think, uh, let me respond to this in three parts, how we are responding. Number one, all your smartphones, every single one that you are using gives you an option to really time your that you're spending on it. So there are various tools that are available that help you manage that time. So there is, that's already there. I think what we really need to do is spread awareness, and that's exactly what we are doing. And and thanks a lot to Catherine, uh, you know, who's uh, who's helping us do that. So uh, if you go uh, uh, to to the Vivo newsroom in India, we we are setting up a survey also that people can take and figure out, uh, you know, how 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 bad is it for them. And Catherine is is also going to help a few of them one on one uh, to uh, uh, to get better at it. And third is, I think we are really expanding the reach this time. This is the fifth year. We are actually converting it into a switch off day. On 20th of December, we are asking people to switch off for at least one hour in a day. Let's give it a start, right? Let's start somewhere. And uh, that's what we are trying to give it a bit of a push and tell people, okay, go switch off for one, one hour and, and be with your families. At least, you know, people take it as an option. Yes, we can also switch off. Uh, Catherine, over to you. Uh, you have written a book, which is how to break up with your phone. Uh, you know, taking some learnings from the book, if you can share with us, how do you effectively do break up from your phone? You don't want to just start restricting yourself for the sake of restriction and not really know why. And then once you actually have a sense of why you want to spend less time on your phone, you can start taking steps to create more boundaries with it. So for example, I always charge my phone in a closet. I highly suggest people charge it out of arm's reach from where you're sleeping. And you can look at what apps are your most problematic apps, because in many cases, we all know there's 
particular apps that suck our time from us. I think that it's important to separate the phone itself from the apps that are on it because a phone is essentially like a refrigerator that can have many different types of food in it and can have many different types of apps. Some of those apps are really helpful, if not essential. And then some of the apps are big time wasters that are actually deliberately designed to waste our time because it's how the companies that make them make money. So you really want to separate those categories of apps for yourself. And if you know that you keep getting sucked into checking a social media app while you're having dinner with your family, then I would highly suggest on a regular basis that you try to keep that app off your phone. You can always install it and check it and delete it again. But it truly is amazing that just the time it takes to reinstall an app is often enough to make people realize, I actually don't really want to be checking that right now. It is time for a short break. On the other side, we have an interesting conversation with Prestige Group's Uzma Irpan on key trends in real estate and real estate marketing, setting up her own entrepreneurial venture, Sublime, and more.